Hey everybody, this is Cliff, and um, I guess I'm going to be doing the Death Nut Challenge. Now, I've had this in my possession for a couple of weeks, and I've actually been a little bit scared, but um, I guess uh, Ohad kind of like pushed me into it to do it a little bit sooner, which I'm down with, definitely, but sometimes you need that little push to finally get around to doing it. So, a couple of questions that people ask me about this stuff is on um, part one, um, <clears throat> What's the point of doing this? It's it's pain. Like you you do have pain when you do this. Um, there's really two answers for that. The thing is, when you eat something this spicy, um, the endorphins rush, and you do get a sense of a really uplifting feeling. It's almost like a high, if you will, um, like a runner's high. If you guys are runners, um, and well, I mean that's one answer. The other answer would be I'm just I'm just an idiot, and that's that's probably more valid. So. What I have here is um, the Death Nut Challenge. So I've removed it from the box. Um, I'm going to read the back of the box because it's a little bit more informative into what's in it. But I'll go ahead and try to get this to the camera. So level one right there is Ghost Pepper and Carolina Reaper Powder. Um, it actually doesn't look that bad. It's pretty lightly dusted. Warming up has Scorpion Butch Tea Peppers and Carolina Reaper Powder. Um, number three right here has Carolina Reaper peppers and one of my favorite, the Chocolate Butla, um, with, of course, more Carolina Reaper powder, because why not? Four, we start really getting caked in, and we have Carolina Reaper peppers, seven pot douglas, and seven pot brain strains, with, of course, Carolina Reaper powder. And then, the piece de resistance is the Death Knight. Now, the Death Nut is really interesting to me, because I've been up and down the heat uh, spectrum. I've had scorpion pepper, I've had extracts, I've had um, even, like, ground Carolina Reaper pepper that I could just throw on my popcorn if I feel dumb. <coughs> uh, but this is a step above. This is um, actually, I think, 2 million Scoville units hotter, which is really interesting. So, we've got some rules here that they um, suggest we follow. Um, I've read this thing through, and I'm, I'm not going to follow it. Uh, not because, you know, I'm limping out or whatever, just because I don't think these two peanuts, these two sets of peanuts, are worth keeping in my mouth for pretty much three minutes. It doesn't make any sense. It'll be mush. It won't really introduce any more heat. Um, also, to cool down the burn a little bit, if I, if I have to... <laughs> which I believe I will. I have some Sour Patch Kids ice cream. So, let's get this started. Part one, they say to use gloves. I don't have gloves. I didn't get any gloves. So, I have a spoon. So, we'll go ahead and pop this first bad boy open. I'm not worried about the first one at all. The first one I'm more excited to try because I want to know the flavor of the peanut. So, we got them right there. And this is just a uh, just Carolina Reaper powder, I believe, and ghost peppers. I love ghost peppers. Hmm. Sweeter than I thought they'd be, but yeah, really good, really good. Um. Step two is a scorpion and butch tea peppers with Carolina Reaper. So let's get that bad boy started. A little bit more caked on. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. quite nice. I'd actually... Okay, pucker butt, listen. I want these, but I want you to make them in peanut brutal. I think that would be delicious. I mean, it's not too spicy. It has just enough heat. You got the scorpion butch tea peppers and Carolina Reaper powder, and this is purely a top of the tongue heat, which is nice, but it does cause a lot of drool. That would be wonderful in some brittle. Ooh. And here we go. Now we're at the place that I'm starting to worry at. The other ones had 
a hint of spice on them. These, you can barely see the peanut. And this one is Carolina Reaper peppers, the actual peppers, chocolate bootla, and Carolina Reaper powder. Alright. That. Oddly enough, I didn't really care for that one. That one has my favorite pepper in it, but... Oh well. Now we're at level 4. And right now in my mouth, it's more of the top of the tongue still. A little bit of heat in the stomach. And we're at level 4. This is where we get the seven pots. Okay, so this, once again, really caked on. Really caked on. Okay, let's do this. I see a seed. That's why I'm like, oof. I know that most of the capsaicin isn't in the seed, but the vein that connects the seeds, but just that mind thing of like, no. Okay. It's hot. It's hot. But I think the amount of peppers that they use... <coughs> back of the throat. There we go. I think the pepper... The amount of peppers that they used took away from, like, some of the flavor because... What, you got four of these bad boys in here? No, just three with a powder. Yeah, but it does affect the flavor a little bit. Now, we're at the time. The Death Nut. Whew. This one I'm scared of. Not gonna lie. But I'll be able to say I've eaten spicy chili. <coughs> Spiciest chili pepper that's available at the Mo. So that's cool. <coughs> but because of the competitiveness of this, who? And I'm starting to cry a little bit. I can, I'm trying to keep my eyes open, but they just kind of want to shut on. Hmm. All right. <sighs> to you, Ohad, the Death Knight. Surprise! <clears throat> Whew. Needed a little dessert after all that. Whew. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, I'm an idiot. Don't try this at home. If you're going to do this, build up your palate. My lungs are open. My eyes don't want to work. My tongue is being stabbed to death by, like, fire ants, it feels like. Well, I'm going to turn it off before I start mucusing really bad, so. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Love you and peace.